you often say that AGI is not coming soon, meaning like not this year, not the next few years, potentially yeah. f farther away. What's your basic intuition behind that? So first of all, it's not going to be an event, right? The idea somehow, which, you know, is popularized by science fiction and Hollywood that, you know, somehow somebody is going to discover the secret, the secret to AGI or human level AI or AMI, whatever you want to call it. And then, you know, turn on a machine and then we have AGI. That's just not going to happen. It's not going to be an event. It's going to be gradual progress. Are we going to have systems that can learn from video how the world works and learn good representations? Yeah. Before we get them to the scale and performance that we observe in humans, it's going to take quite a while. It's not going to happen in one day. Um, uh, are we going to get systems that can uh, have large amount of associative memory so they can, they can remember stuff? Yeah, but same, it's not going to happen tomorrow. I mean, th there is some basic techniques that need to be developed. We have a lot of them, but like, you know, to get this to work together with a uh, full system is another story. Are we going to have systems that can reason and plan, perhaps along the lines of uh, objective-driven AI architectures that I, I described before? Yeah, but like before we get this to work, you know, properly, it's going to take a while. So, and before we get all those things to work together, and then on top of this, have systems that can learn like hierarchical planning, hierarchical representations, systems that can be configured for a lot of different situations at hand, the way the human brain can. Um, uh, you know, all of this is going to take, you know, at least a decade and probably much more because there are a lot of problems that we're not seeing right now that we have not encountered. And so we don't know if there is an easy solution within this framework. Um, so, uh, you know, it's it's not just around the corner. I mean, I've, I've been hearing people for the last 12, 15 years claiming that, you know, AGI is just around the corner and being systematically wrong. And I knew they were wrong when they were saying it. I called their bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think people have been calling? First of all, I mean, from the beginning, of, from the birth of the term artificial intelligence, there has been a eternal optimism that's perhaps unlike other technologies. Is it a Marvick paradox? Is it the explanation for why people are so optimistic about AGI? I don't think it's just Marvick's paradox. Marvick's paradox is a consequence of realizing that the world is not as easy as we think. So first of all, uh, intelligence is not a linear thing that you can measure with a scalar, with a single number. Um, you know, can you say that humans are smarter than orangutans? In some ways, yes. But in some ways, orangutans are smarter than humans in a lot of domains that allows them to survive in the forest, for example. So IQ is a very limited measure of intelligence. Human intelligence is bigger than what IQ, for example, measures. Well, IQ can measure, you know, approximately something for humans. Mm -hmm. But... Um, because humans kind of you know come in relatively kind of uniform <laughs> form, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but it only measures one type of uh, ability that you know may be relevant for some tasks, but not others. And uh, but then, if you are talking about other intelligent entities for which the you know the the basic things that are easy to them is very different, uh, then it doesn't mean anything. So intelligence is a collection of skills and an ability to acquire new skills efficiently, mm -hmm. right? And the collection of skills that an intelligent, particular intelligent entity possess or is capable of learning quickly is different from the collection of skills of another one. Mm -hmm. And because it's a multidimensional thing, the set of skills is a high dimensional space, you can't measure, you can compare, you cannot compare two things as to whether one is more intelligent than the other. It's multidimensional. 